Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the characteristic equation of the given matrix A and hence we are going to find its inverse. The characteristic equation is determinant A minus lambda i equal to 0. So now, first element will be 1 minus lambda, other two elements as it is. Then second row 1, then 3 minus lambda and minus 3. Then third row minus 2, minus 4, minus 4, minus lambda. And this determinant value equal to 0. We are going to expand this determinant along row 1. So 1 minus lambda we have to take, bracket open. We have to multiply these two. So 3 minus lambda into minus 4 minus lambda minus of product of these two will be 12. Bracket close. Then minus 1 we have to take. Then we take the second element. Then we have to take 1 into this. Minus 4 minus lambda. Then minus of product of this is 6. So minus 6. Then last element plus 3 into we have to take product of this, which is minus 4, and minus, when I multiply this, already there is a minus 2, so it will become plus 2 into 3 minus lambda, which is equal to 0. Now, this is 1 minus lambda into, let us expand this, minus 12 minus 3 lambda, then plus 4 lambda, plus lambda square minus 12. Then minus 1 into minus 4 minus 6. So minus 10. Then minus lambda. Plus 3 into minus 4 plus 6 minus 2 lambda which is equal to 0. Then next step 1 minus lambda into, we have to rearrange this. First, let's write the lambda square. The lambda term, if I combine, I will get plus lambda. Then minus 12 minus 12 minus 24. When I multiply minus 1 inside, we get 10 plus lambda. Then here, plus 3 into minus 2 lambda. Then 6 minus 4 is plus 2, which is equal to 0. Now, we have to expand this. 1 we have to multiply with all the terms. So lambda square plus lambda minus 24. When I multiply minus lambda, we get first term minus lambda cube. Then minus lambda square plus 24 lambda. Then other two terms plus 10 plus lambda. When I multiply this 3 inside, we get minus 6 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. Again, rearranging this. First, let's write the lambda cube term. Then, lambda square terms we have to combine. So, we have lambda square and minus lambda square. It gets cancelled. Then, we have to combine lambda term. So, this is lambda, here lambda, here lambda and here lambda. Now, combining all this thing, so lambda plus 24 lambda. That will give 25 lambda. Then, 26 lambda minus 6 lambda will give plus 20 lambda. Then finally, combining all the numbers, we have minus 24, then plus 10, plus 6. So totally this is 16. Minus 24 plus 16 is minus 8. So we have to write minus 8 equal to 0. Let's change the sign throughout. So lambda cube minus 20 lambda plus 8 equal to 0. Now, by Kelly Hamilton theorem, every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So, we got the characteristic equation. Let's substitute capital A, that is matrix A in place of lambda. So, we get lambda Q minus, sorry, A Q minus 20 A plus 8 I equal to 0. So, we have completed the first part of the question that is we found the characteristic equation and using the Cali Hamilton theorem we have the characteristic equation in terms of the matrix A. Second part we have to find its inverse. 
For finding inverse, we are going to pre-multiply by a inverse on both the sides. So we have a cube minus 20a plus 8i. So let's take a inverse into a cube minus 20a plus 8i equal to a inverse into 0 on the other side. So when I multiply a inverse inside, the first term will become a square, then minus 20, a inverse into a is identity, then 8a inverse. And since here number is alone, we put i. When we have a inverse or a along the number, we don't have to write that i. And on the other side, it is 0. So we keep 8a inverse here and take the 20i to the other side. So it will become 20i plus 20i minus a square. So we have to substitute 20i and a square value here. Let's find the a square value first. So which is a into a. And here we have copied the a matrix. Now we are going to multiply this. As for the procedure, we have to take the first row of the first matrix and multiply with the first column of the second matrix corresponding elements. So now 1 with 1, this 1 with 1, then 3 with minus 2. So 1 plus 1 minus 6. Then first row with second column. So 1 plus 3 minus 12. Then first row with third column. 3 minus 3 then minus 12. Then in the same way we have to take the second row. We have to multiply with each column corresponding elements. So this will be 1 plus 3 plus 6. Then 1 plus 9 plus 12. Then 3 minus 9 plus 12. In the same way, we have to take the third row and multiply with each column corresponding elements. So minus 2 minus 4 plus 8. Then minus 2 minus 12 plus 16. Then minus 6 plus 12 plus 16. So we got a square and this we have to simplify. So the first element will be minus 4, then minus 8, then minus 12. And here second row is 10, then 22, then 6. Then here it is 2, then here it is again 2. And here it is 22. After this, we are going to substitute in this expression 8 a inverse equal to 20i minus a square. So 8 a inverse equal to 20i. So 20 into identity 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus a square which is minus 4 minus 8 minus 12 10 22 6, 2, 2, 22. Now we have to make this as a single matrix, but before that this 20 should be multiplied inside. So this will become 20, 0, 0, 0, 20, 0, 0, 0, 20 and minus, this will become minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, 10, 22, 6, 2, 2, 22. Then finally, let's write it as a single matrix. So it is 20 minus or minus 4 plus 4. Then 0 plus 8. Then 0 plus 12. Then 0 minus 10. Then 20 minus 22. Then 0 minus 6. Then 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2 and 20 minus 22. Now this will become 24, 8, 12. In second row minus 10, minus 2, minus 6. Third row minus 2, minus 2 and minus 2. So now we have to bring this 8 to the other side. Therefore, a inverse equal to 1 by 8 and we have to copy this matrix and thus we got the 
ये इनवर्स 